Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I want to comment about the 4th Congressional District Lincoln Day Dinner, which is being held tomorrow night in Northern Kentucky. This is for political insiders from around the district. The leader of this event is obviously Thomas Massey, who is the 4th District uh, Congressman. Now, the reason why I'm discussing this is I want to focus on something that I've noticed has come about in our Northern Kentucky politics, Republican politics, which I find a little bit amusing. The first thing I wanna do is give you a little bit of background. I was 24 years old when I became the Kenton County Republican Chairman. Then I served on the State Central Committee. Then Jim Bunning asked me to be the fourth Congressional Chairman. I was only 26. I was running political campaigns. And then I, unlike all of the establishment Republicans who supported Congressman Hopkins uh, for governor, I broke off and supported Larry Forge for governor. Larry Forge only lost, I think, by 1,800 votes statewide in that primary. And then Larry Hopkins got hit with the congressional bank um, scandal, and he got clobbered by Brereton Jones. I was right. Larry Forge was the better candidate. But Jim Bunning and I had a parting of the ways. However, we reconciled. Congressman Bunning and I reconciled. Congressman Bunning later became uh, the United States Senator. But I just want everybody to know that I have, then I, I got out of politics for the last 20 years. I've been focusing on work. Um, but I've always stayed, paid attention to it, but I've not gone to political events or anything like that. But having gotten back into the political arena because I'm running for governor and because of Bulldog Media, I've noticed something which I find absolutely amusing. It seems to me that there's this group led by Congressman Massey and others around him that actually act as if they own certain issues. It's like they're the only ones that are allowed to champion positions and issues, and rather than embrace others or welcome others to the cause, they push out or block. For example, they've snubbed me repeatedly. Just to let you know, those issues relative to me and his acolytes aren't caused by me. They're caused by them. And I've chosen a different course, as you've noticed lately, of not talking about it and moving on and focusing on what I want to say about the state of Kentucky and this country. But there is a movement going on in this, in this region, this state and this country, where Republicans and patriots are running against establishment Republicans and those people who are running against those established Republicans carry a true torch for the causes that we all believe in. And this, of course, was led by Donald Trump. Donald Trump got this movement running. He's inspired all these people to run for public office. Now, I just want to say that, and we're going to do a special show both on national politics and local politics, and... I make an unabashed, absolutely not afraid to say it, that I support, and Bulldog Media supports, these upstarts. There's a long laundry list of them. My guess is a lot of them will be attending the 4th District Lincoln Day Dinner, despite them not being very welcomed by the establishment. I am choosing not to go. I actually inquired, this is funny, I actually inquired about buying a table and buying the highest form of uh, sponsorship. And then I found out that we weren't going to be allowed to speak. In other words, I, let's think about this, as a Northern Kentucky candidate for governor, as well as my running mate being from Northern Kentucky, we were not going to be allowed to speak at this event. Congressman Massey is going to be allowed to speak. Ryan Qualls, who's the Agriculture Commissioner, is going to be allowed to speak. Allison Bell uh, is going to be allowed to speak. Uh, uh, Mike Harmon, the State Auditor, is going to be allowed to speak. But Harmon and Qualls are running for governor, just like me. They're being allowed to speak, and I'm not. Now, here's what's great about it. They think that hurts me. No, it doesn't. Rank-and-file Republicans 
throughout Northern Kentucky, don't go to those events, could care less about those events. My supporters aren't the ones going to those type of events. I do have some, in fact, I had lunch yesterday with, with somebody that I'm really excited about that I hope gets involved in my campaign. There's people, see, you have to understand, Boone County is now taken over by the anti-establishments. Campbell County has done the same thing. Only Kenton County, because they cheated, and all they did is get everybody excited. But I support all those upstarts running against those establishment candidates. But I'm not going to go today. I'm not going to beg and plead. I don't need to beg and plead to Thomas Massey. By the way, I make no bones about this. I support Claire Worth for Congress. Now, if you're a Massey supporter, you're not going to hold that against me because you're going to recognize me as the best candidate for governor. You can vote for Massey and you can vote for me. But I just make it no bones about it that I support Claire Worth because I feel like Claire Worth is a true representative of a Trump Republican who's running. But guess where I'm going to go? This is fun. Tomorrow night, I'm going to Bullitt County. Those of you who don't know about Bullitt County, it's south of Jefferson County. It's a big county. Rand Paul is going to be their lead speaker. But I'm going to get the stage. So how funny is it? I'm going to go to Bullitt County where I'm going to be able to speak but the Republican establishment is not allowing me to speak in my own backyard. And you know what? They miscalculate. That's going to benefit me. Those of you that are watching this video right now that aren't in the inside politics in Northern Kentucky, that, you will find that offensive. I find it offensive. So let them do what they do. All they're doing is helping me. And I will go to Bullock County where I will set the room on fire with my rhetoric, with my speech, my oratory. This is the, unfortunately, the 4th District Lincoln Day Dinner won't have the benefit of that this year. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Kentucky will have a new day.